Hey everyone, today's video I'm going to be explaining why so many Hashimoto's patients have high cholesterol, even if their TSH is normal, and even if their free T4 is normal, and even if they're taking levothyroxine or Synthroid. So if you have Hashimoto's and you wondered, hey, why is my cholesterol so high? I try to eat right, I try to exercise. I think today is going to be uh, uh, demystifying some things for you. So let's get into it. What do we already know about thyroid hormones and it comes to lipids? Well, when your thyroid hormones are low, your total cholesterol goes up, your LDL goes up, your triglycerides go up, and your HDL goes down. Now, but if you have Hashimoto's, almost everyone that has Hashimoto's been diagnosed, they're taking thyroid hormones, right? So if they're taking thyroid hormones and their TSH looks good and their free T4s look good, well, they're not hypothyroid. So all that stuff I just told you about what thyroid hormones do to cholesterol, etc that shouldn't apply, right? Well, what you got to remember is that whether you get the benefit or not of the thyroid hormones you take is the responsibility of these things called thyroid hormone receptors, all right? Now, thyroid hormone receptors are like little antenna in every one of your cells, and they're waiting for uh, the T4 to come by and dock, and then it tells the DNA of that cell what to do. So when you're hypothyroid, you don't have enough hormones floating around to even attach to the receptors. But in Hashimoto's and you're taking medication, you've got plenty of hormones floating around uh, because if your blood work says your TSH is good and your free T4 is good, you have enough hormones. But the thing is, those receptors can be blocked, can be blunted, can basically be made to malfunction uh, so that you don't get the benefit of the hormones you're taking, right? So if you don't get the benefit of the hormones you're taking, one of the things that you might see on your blood work is your cholesterol is up because your LDL is up and your HDL is down, triglycerides may or may not be up. That kind of depends more on what you've eaten recently, right? So it's a receptor problem that can be making all these Hashimoto's patients still have high LDL. I mean, I'll just tell you, I mean, probably 90% of the people I see that come in with Hashimoto's who are taking Synthroid or Levothyroxine and their TSH is good and their free T4 is good, their LDL will still be elevated somewhat. Now, not crazy, but it'll be somewhere like, you know, 120, 130, and that's even if they're like eating right, right? And they're exercising. And the reason that's happening is because the Hashimoto's, even though you know you don't have a quantity problem anymore, you probably still have a usage problem. See, because the blood work can tell you how many hormones are floating around, but the usage, really the only thing that can tell us that is how you feel. And of course, the people that I see that come to me, probably 30 of them new a month, don't feel good and they have Hashimoto's and they're taking medication and everything's normal on their blood work. But if you look, that cholesterol level is still a little bit up. So what do you do about that, right? Well, if you have Hashimoto's and your LDL is up, to me, that's telling me that we probably have a receptor problem. Now, what causes receptor problems? The biggest factor that influences those receptors and messes with them is inflammation. But guess what? Hashimoto's is an inflammatory problem. So Hashimoto's likes to create both a quantity problem and a usage problem. So what that means is, yeah, you can take levothyroxine and Synthroid, but that's probably not going to be everything you need, right? You're going to have to do something to get a better control of your immune system. So, of course, in my office, that's a, that's a lot of different things. There's these things called the four priorities that we look at. I like to do lymphocyte immunophenotyping to really find out what's going on with your immune system. I like to do multiple tissue antibody testing. And I guess my point is, is that you know, you've got to do some digging. So please make sure you're working with someone that understands uh, about this whole cholesterol business and that there's a clue there that if your LDL is high uh, and your TSH is normal and your free T4 is normal and you're taking medication, you probably still have a receptor problem. And also, if you have any of the symptoms that persist, such as anxiety, depression, brain fog, uh, neuropathy symptoms, uh, fatigue, joint and muscle pain, if you have any of that stuff, right, and your LDL is high, and you have Hashimoto's, but your TSH is normal, that's not some unrelated thing. What it's telling us is that you most likely have a receptor problem. And the number one thing that'll do that is inflammation, which to me tells me that your Hashimoto's is probably not controlled and it needs to be controlled. And there is a world of things you can do to get your immune system and Hashimoto's more normal and more regulated, but what it is for you may not be what I do for the other person. And what I do for you depends on your immunophenotype. Okay, so anyway, uh, I hope you found that helpful to understand why a lot of people with Hashimoto's still have LDL that's elevated. Because, you know, in classic hypothyroidism, we see all those types of problems with the lipids. 
But if you have Hashimoto's and you're taking medication, your TSH is good and your free T4 is good, you're not hypothyroid anymore. So what gives? It's a receptor problem. And that receptor problem is most likely being caused by the fact that your Hashimoto's is not regulated and not under control. Okay, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.